So this necklace was almost finished. Um, I call this one Cameo. The Cameo was the first um, piece I put onto it, having made the basic necklace. Um, as you can see, it's nearly finished. Um, just one space left. Um, now, I couldn't really decide. I quite like this leaf. But maybe the holes that I had to drill in it might be a little bit unattractive, maybe. Um, this is quite dainty, but maybe too dainty. Or I've got this. Looks like it's missing something actually in the middle, but I don't mind that. Um, I could go with the black theme, but I've got a feeling it might be fairly difficult to attach. So, I think I'm going to try... Hmm, what's that? I like that. But we don't want any green. Um, I'll try and attach this. So, it's got some loops at the back there, which I'll need to use fairly large jump rings. I like this kind of size, but I don't know if this will be big enough, so let's see. So let's open it up. And try hooking through. Oh, it goes through quite nicely. Now, I have to find a good place to attach it. And actually, it seems to have gone on quite well first time. doesn't usually happen, and I probably will fiddle around a lot with it now. Oh, actually, that's quite nice. You see it drops down. You have to take that into account when you place it on a piece. Um, so I'll probably attach the second side higher up. And then because we don't want it flapping we'll see if we can put another jump ring through that side. Let's see, so I've got another one of these fairly large ones because a smaller one wouldn't go through the chain as well. So if I just this thing through that loop like I did before and attach it to this fiddly fiddly uh, yep so that's quite pretty I like that Kind of echoes this one and this one, not detracting from the cameo, but it's flapping. So let's try and just fasten that. Ideally, we'd use a smaller jump ring because then that would be a tighter fit. It's one of these handle shaped ones might do the trick. They have their opening kind of on the long edge. Um, tend to be quite fiddly because they're quite small. And actually it would have to be small because there's already that through there. Okay, so I managed to get it through, but what can I attach it to? Hmm. I might close that one up and then use it again as a loop, if that makes sense, for another jump ring to go across to the chain. Yep, this is what happens sometimes when you don't get a good purchase on it. Um, so I'll give that one another little squeeze, I think. Okay, if we twist it round. And then put one of our larger jump rings. 
through it. So then it will be attached in three places, which of course is preferable to just two. It will give it a little bit more stability. Um, yeah, let's try it to this top. Spin it around there. And there we have that attached. So although it's still flapping a little bit there, that's that's not a problem, I don't think. I think that's quite quite pretty. So I would say that cameo is finished. <laughs>